Now, Good Morning Maryland. Just before 6 o'clock on this Monday morning, August 28th. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Randall Newsom. Thank you for watching us and streaming us. All right, we'll get you out the door right now with a look at the weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo in a moment. But first, WMR2 News' Jonathan Hunter is live now with the new superintendent. Jonathan, how's it going out there, man? Hey, good morning, Randall. It is the first day of school, and we all know that that is a day that we all look forward to when we wake up. You want to make sure you have your fresh haircut. You want to make sure you have your nice school clothes. But today I am joined with Dr. Miriam Yarbrough, the new superintendent for Baltimore County Public Schools. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Good morning. Excited and ready to welcome all of our students back. And we were just talking off camera not that long ago. Just talk about the new initiatives this year. You're talking and saying that the students will have a free lunch or a free breakfast today. That is correct. Uh, free meals in all Baltimore County Public Schools starting today. Breakfast and lunch for all of our students. We're very excited about that. And just talk about some of the other new initiatives. I know that there's going to be a new math and English curriculum. Absolutely. Uh, first priority for us is academic achievement. And one of the ways for us to do that is to make sure that we have access to the best curriculum and best resources for our students. And so math, we rolled out a curriculum about two years ago. But in terms of literacy in all of our elementary schools, HMH into reading, that begins today, evidence-based uh, reading curriculum. And then talking about, I guess, the uh, teacher vacancies, bus driver vacancies, um, do you have any at the start of the school year? We do, but we are in a wonderful place. Much uh, fewer vacancies than we've had over the last several years. In terms of teachers, we're more than 98% staffed. Um, we are all, every classroom is covered. And in terms of bus drivers as well, we have, I think, fewer than 50 vacancies. But what's most important to parents, every single bus route is covered and buses are already rolling as we speak. And just talk about the general excitement of coming to school that first day. I know it's one of those days where the students want to have their uh, their nice outfits on. The teachers are excited to welcome their students. Just talk about that just overall excitement. There is just a uh, buzz in the air and this sense of excitement. Uh, teachers are definitely ready to receive students back. I know parents are ready for students to go back to school. We are hopeful that our students are excited about this first day as well, but there have been many preparations made uh, for this day, and so we're just excited to have them back in our schools so we can start teaching and learning. In just a few hours, the students will be coming here, and it looks like at Woodlawn High School they have um, some balloons, so I guess students will be welcomed in when they come in. Absolutely. In every single school across Team BCPS, our students will be welcomed in with open arms uh, by wonderful, caring teachers and other staff who are ready to receive them. All right. Thank you, Dr. Miriam Yarbrough, for your time. Thank you. And we will be speaking with Dr. Miriam Yarbrough at X650, so stay tuned. It is the first day of school, and Randall, I'm going to send it right back to you.